the backside, it's been busy today. A lot of the horses getting an early start. We've already seen a couple of derby contenders and an Oaks contender from Brad Cox's barn. That 7.30 to 7.45 window for all the Derby and Orcs, Oaks horses will be opening up soon. I'm Shannon Kogan alongside meteorologist Tawana Andrew, and we have your friend Brian Good out here, too. Yes. Tell us all about the weather this morning. We're going to applaud Brian Good this morning because it's not raining, it's yes. not windy, and the back of our hair looks great. So thank you for that, Brian. Yours does, <laughs> not mine. What are you talking about? I love the ponytail. Just it up today. <laughs> Brian? <laughs> I couldn't hear you for a second, but I don't know what it was, but I don't know if you're making fun of me. No, no we're, we're making, making fun of you. Okay, good. Sure. <laughs> sure. I can hear you now. Sure. You're right. It is. I heard you, Shannon. You were talking about how it was uh, busy already at the track. It is. Uh, the workouts uh, continue, and uh, we've already had a few of the contenders out. We saw of uh, Brad Cox's forces that we had out early uh, this morning for at least one round may come back again here soon we'll be uh, keeping an eye on it all right for this Fable tuesday it is going to be a chilly setup already this morning here we got wonder wheel right in front of me actually right now this is a, one of the uh, the oaks contenders just went on by here here we go all right in the 40s, 49 degrees in louisville at the moment mainly sunny sky expected as we get into sunrise so not in the hour and then the clouds will try to drop back in as we head toward midday into the afternoon hours. Temperatures will generally be upper 50s to lower 60s because the clouds moving back in and it will be a bit breezy at times. So again, right here, I don't know if you can get a shot, Peyton. Here is Wonder Will on the track right now. One of the Oaks contenders here on the track. We'll be uh, keeping an eye on the track here as the workouts uh, start to ramp up, especially over the next uh, one to two hours, guys. Brian, we're trying to see which Oaks horse that is. Can you That's read it? Wonder Will. Wonder Wheel, okay. I love it. Fabulous. Just, Just kind of taking a nice morning. little yeah. nice little walk out there right now. Wonder Wheel will be breaking from the five hole coming up on Oaks Day, mm -hmm. trained by Mark Cassie. All right, today's uh, going to be a nice day here at Churchill Downs. It is 502's day. You want to mm -hmm. come? Hey, to get in, all you need is five bucks. If you want to place a bet, bring more money than that. Uh, of course. <laughs> and of course, this is just celebrating the Louisville community and just locals here before everybody else arrives for Oaks and Derby. And there's special tributes hey, planned right. as well for LMPD and the U of L Health Trauma Center following the old National Bank shooting. And by the way, I think a lot of locals will get a kick out of the race names. Many are former Louisville landmarks, like the old Sears building, the Galleria, um, Lynn's Paradise Cafe. And of course, we got to talk about Jim Porter's Good Time mm -hmm. Emporium, the Toy Tiger. But then there's also a special race named after the Dirt Bowl. That is the annual basketball tournament in Shawnee Park. Again, just need five. Five bucks to get in, but as Shannon just said, bring more, more if you want to bet. And the gates here will open at 11:30. First post time is 12:45. All right, this was the big event yesterday, the post position draw for both the Derby and the Oaks. And if you take a look at this list right here, you see the favorite Forte will be breaking from hole 15. And coming up here in about 10 seconds, we're going to be talking to the owner of Mage breaking from the eight hole. And here's a look at the Oaks post position draw. The favorite here, wet paint highlighted coming from hole seven. Yeah, and of course we have Botanical right next to it. Um, that is gonna be breaking from six. Pretty good odds with that one, four to one. So keep that in mind if you're gonna um, be betting. But we also gonna be keeping an eye on some other contenders, including Cox's Alice Look, and of course, Near the Rail with Gambling Girl. So we're gonna be keeping an eye on everyone who is in and maybe just slightly outside of the post positions for right now. Because we do have a couple of, you know, ones that people are paying attention to, including Louisville's Dale Roman, Cyclone mm -hmm. Mischief, and Mandarin Hero, and King Russell as well. And for Oaks, we have Tax, Julia Shining, and Hoosier Philly, who are going to be in the 15 through 17 spots. So they're going to be waiting to see if somebody scratches. We will see. Okay, right now, we have Ramiro Restrepo, who is the owner of Mage. So excited that you're able to join us. Mm -hmm. And I heard an interview with, with you, and I thought, oh, I have to talk to him, because... <laughs> This, you were so emotional about mm -hmm. this, and, and when you found out you were going to the Derby, you, you sent out a, a tweet that said, Grandpa, we made it. <laughs> oh, that was just so sweet. I so love tell that. us, uh, what, how come? Well, you're going to get me live to cry on national TV. This is amazing. <laughs> now, look, I'm a, I'm a fifth generation horseman. Um, oh. My family started out in South America and Colombia, and uh, they came here in the late 60s. They dedicated their lives to this. Uh, my grandfather and my uncles. Mm. Um, my mother 
I got us into horse ownership, so I was kind of lucky to be to see another side of the coin of racing. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, they dedicated 60 plus years to this business, and um, their one dream was to make it to the Derby. So oh. to be able to realize that for them is is just priceless. And really. you and you're bringing your uncles here yes. to watch this. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Right, they're like ones in his late 70s, ones in his early oh. 80s, but they're <laughs> gonna do the walk with me, and uh, you know, it's it's awesome to you know give them this gift. Oh. And they're figuring out what to wear. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably wearing big hats too, right? I love it. I love it. Okay, so yesterday uh, you found out you're going to be breaking from the eighth hole. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Current odds are 15 to one. Do you like that position for Mage? Love it. It was a perfect, perfect spot for him. Um, he's doing great, and uh, it's just tactically, it's exactly where he wanted to be. Yeah, and Mage has been doing pretty well in terms of the prep races, getting second and then fourth. So pretty good so far. So what do people have to? What do you say to the people who are like? Hmm, maybe I'm I'm thinking about betting on Mage, but not quite sure to say. Well, Mage is the equivalent of going from high school to the pros. We took him <laughs> from his first start where he won yes. right out the gate uh, to to the big boys, mm -hmm. and he's run back-to-back -back really nice races, and the best is yet to come. You know, he's on the rise, and uh, we, we're expecting a really big effort for him on Saturday. Three career starts all in 2023, trained by Gustavo Delgado. And the jockey is Javier Castellano, who actually changed from Ray's Kane. So how'd that work? Well, Javier rode him before, mm -hmm. yeah. and um, from my understanding, when he gave a, his earlier commitment, mm -hmm. it was always with the caveat that he might uh, be switching if the possibility came around uh, to get them out mm -hmm. on our horse. Mm -hmm. So it was a uh, pretty smooth segue. Awesome. Well, I love the hat, by the way. Yes. Thank that's, you. You're going to have a lot of people <laughs> saying, I want that hat because it has the rose on the top and then the, the silks the on the side. Silks on the side. Love it. Very nice. Well, if, if you see me outside of Churchill Downs with a box selling, you know. <laughs> We'll Come by and get along. Genius, <laughs> genius. Ramiro, thank you so much. Best of luck and enjoy this great week here. Yeah, thank in you Louisville. guys. Thank you for having me on for sure. Thank of you. course, right. of course. Do you need to stop by Wagner's Pharmacy, by the way? You ever I've, been there? I had. Uh, I've been coming here for a couple years. Oh, okay. So you've yeah, been there, done that. Okay, okay, so that's where we have Olivia Russell this morning. <laughs> she's been cracking some eggs. Let's see if she's done any more work this yes. morning. <laughs> No, no, I have not. I will just tell you that right now. I've only cracked one egg because they're not paying me here. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, but Pam here is really important. So she's been on the grill all morning. I got her away for a second, but you all are getting ready for a very busy week, right? Yes, yes, we are. We'll, we'll see more people than we've seen in forever coming in on Derby. All out of towners, wonderful people. And you kind of filled me in on a secret that some celebrities sometimes pop in here too. What's that like? That's fun. That's fun. The sad part is, is we don't know them until they get ready to leave. Because, you know, they come undercover type. You know, they don't wear their regular. They'll put a hat on or cover bandanas or something. Yeah. And you told me you've gotten a really nice endorsement from someone who knows a thing or two about food, right? Yes. Yes. Mr. Bobby Flay. Okay. Okay. And you didn't hire him? No, he has his own thing. <laughs> he did ask me if I wanted a job. Oh, okay, okay. So that's how you know it is that good here. But we have the derby menu, too. So you've had to kind of cut it down a little bit to make sure things get faster, right? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. And you've already pointed out some favorites. Tell everyone the favorites. Yes. Our favorites are the derby, which is a hot ham and Swiss on a bun with mayonnaise. It's really good. We sell a lot of them. And the uh, hot brown. The hot brown's really good. It's our twist of the hot brown. Get a lot of compliments on it. Some say it's better than the browns, but I don't know. I don't eat it. <laughs> I guess people will just have to swing by here yes. and check it out. And yes. even some 50 Tuesday drink specials here, yes. too. Yes, so. we're trying to promote the little people like us. Yes, the local people. We love it. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We've got to get back to work, though. <laughs> Reporting live at Wagner's Olivia Russell Wave News. Yeah, Olivia, appreciate that. Wagner's always oh, so good. An experience you gotta gotta do it as part of the tradition, guys, especially during Derby Week. All right, we're keeping an eye on a chilly setup this morning. The wind isn't overly strong, but it, it is a colder morning compared to yesterday. So kind of a trade-off a bit, but again, still expecting a beautiful sunrise with temperatures in the 40s, warming up into about the 55 degree range around midday. Clouds do move back in this afternoon, so mostly cloudy once again in the afternoon and once again windy at times. We'll talk about the latest for Champions Day, Thurby Oaks and of course derby coming up as sunrise of the downs continues right here on wave news
Your money on Wave News is sponsored by First Savings Financial Group. When people depend on us, we depend on the Wave Storm Tracking Team. Everybody on our team has the weather app because they give us accurate forecasts and the reasons to trust them. Don't buy a pre-owned Honda unless Honda is certified it. Drive with confidence knowing your engine, transmission, brakes, and more. Honda is certified it. Plus, get a seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty covering your Honda certified pre-owned vehicle. Only at your local Honda dealer. Tease Trees is Louisville's trusted choice for tree trimming, removal, and land clearing. We go to great heights for your satisfaction with 24-hour emergency service. Get your trees trimmed now. Tease Trees. We trim trees and prices. What does Kentucky need in an ag commissioner? Someone who's tough as Shell. Jonathan Shell, a farmer, fighter, and family man with the experience to lead. There's no quit in Jonathan Shell. He'll never back down from the woke liberals attacking our way of life. To stop Biden and save Kentucky, Frankfurt needs fighters who are tough as Shell. I'd be honored to have your vote. Do you want a guaranteed offer on your home and avoid the hassle and stress of listing? No showings, no inspections, no repairs, no lenders. You can even take the belongings you want and leave the rest. Contact J.P. Pirtle for a guaranteed offer. When it's hot outside and your air conditioner isn't working, it's a pain. CNL Heating and Air will make the process easy and save you money. Now through Wednesday, get a brand new air conditioner from CNL for only $3,400 and financing is available. Call me on my cell phone today. When it has a 182-point inspection by factory-trained technicians, Honda certified it. When it has a 7-year, 100,000-mile warranty, Honda certified it. Only when you buy a certified pre-owned Honda at your local Honda dealer, Honda certified it. This isn't just a truck. It's a get-you-ready, storm-or-shine, absolute unit on wheels. Our storm tracker on the road as it heads into the storm. A down to the detail, capture it all, storm tracking machine. That's a live feed from the storm tracker. Built to keep you safe. We helped push her car out of the water. With tools like live onboard radar, 360-degree live streaming cameras, giving you a real-time view of what's happening now. The Wave Storm Tracker. Sponsored by Oxmoor Ford. Join the thousands of families who have trusted the Zero Res experts to achieve an insanely clean and healthy home. For a limited time, enjoy this special offer. Schedule today at ZeroResLouisville.com. Zero Res, it's the right way to clean. At Thomas Law Offices, we often get calls from people asking, do I have a case? Some of my largest cases have been from people who called just to ask that question. Stop questioning yourself. Call locally owned Thomas Law Offices today. This newscast is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. There's only one. This is Wave News Sunrise. And good morning. It has sunrise the downs on this foul Tuesday. A chilly start to the day, but it has been active. The horses are getting a good workout here this morning. We've already had verifying one of the Derby contenders, Angel of Empire. We've had uh, as well as Alley's look and Wonder Wheel is on the track right now. It's already done a couple of laps, in fact, already here for this morning. After many more will be showing up as we're just now starting here on this. What looks to be a full in the distance. It certainly is. The shots continue here live here at the backside of Churchill Downs. All right, temperatures this morning. Yeah, on the cool, chilly side. We got 49 here in Louisville, 43 to the east, even a 36 in the Carrollton. When you factor the wind, we do have a wind chill, and you will feel that certainly as you head out. It feels like 44 in Louisville, although it feels a little, a little colder than that here at Churchill Downs. And about 38 is the average wind chill once you get away from the city limits. All right, you see the satellite is clear. We don't have any clouds to worry about this morning. Uh, the thing is, we are actually going to see another round of moisture move in around this big low pressure. It's been the Great Lakes, given the UP of Michigan record snow. Throw down some cloud cover around lunch today into the afternoon. You see it on future cast that drops down like a spaceship from Independence Day, just kind of sliding right over the city there as we into this afternoon. Uh, as that happens, the wind is going to ramp up once again. Not quite as reliable, but it will be noticeable wind at times and maybe a few sprinkles, although the air is much drier in the lower layers of the atmosphere. So not expecting much in the way of the radar to uh, light up as we did later on this afternoon. All right, Fable Tuesday outlook, though, temperatures around midday as just as the gates are about to open, 55 degrees and around 59 to 62, depending on how we balance out the sun versus clouds for later this afternoon. All right, Thurby, looking good. Looking good on Wednesday. 
way. Third B looks warm. Oh, state. That's rain chance day, it looks like. Light rain. Thunderstorms in southern Kentucky. And as long as those thunderstorms hold across southern Kentucky, they block from heavier rain getting more north. So that would actually be a good thing and keep the rain light. But it does look like the rain chance may be getting higher as we into Oaks afternoon. I don't know if it's going to be enough to change the track conditions significantly. This track can handle a very heavy rain event, usually before you get into a, a, a sloppy scenario. And then for Derby, we should see it begin to improve with a partly sunny sky through Derby Day. We, we may have to be patient on Derby for the sun. The game through the sky condition. There's that rain chance again later into Oaks afternoon. Uh, that's where it spikes to about 40%. We'll see if we have to raise this or not. After we get into Derby and beyond that, that's when temperatures get really warm again. Back into the 80s. We've missed the 80s. It's been a while. Uh, lower 80s may extend all the way to the rest of next week and even toward uh, Mother's Day. But we'll wa watch that as the days continue. Right now, it's active this morning, guys. We'll uh, see if any more contenders show up on the track. And if we do, we'll give you a shout out. But so far, I think it's just Wonder Wheel uh, for a contender for the Oaks that's out there right now, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brian. Okay, we're going to talk hats right now because, of course, course y'all need a hat um, to head out here this week. And we have Rachel Bell and Kate Smith. They're also known as the Hat, hat Girls. Girls. <laughs> They're the official hat designer of the Kentucky Derby Festival and featured milliner of Kentucky Derby 149. And they started their company 11 years ago. Yes. And wow, you guys are doing so great. What made you start the Hat Girls? Well, well <laughs> I didn't have a plan. Rachel and I went to high school together. We always talked about doing something in fashion design together. Mm -hmm. And I think we thought it was going to be more of a clothing boutique. Yeah. And we somehow ended up here. <laughs> well, so how did you start getting into hats? Yeah. Making well, our own. Making our own, yeah. We're both from here. So, you know, mm -hmm. we grew up going to Derby. And I would say, what, 13 years ago is the first year we made our hats together. And um, they were, we were off the wall. Yes, very different. <laughs> Those hats were actually made out of weave. Wow. Hair. Yeah, they were hair, big, like derby style hair hats. So wow. we got a lot of attention from that, and then the next year came back with something crazier, and it just kind of rolled from there. Okay, so in terms of what people are looking at, um, maybe this year, maybe not so much hair hats. <laughs> Um, but what do you think people are looking for, especially in terms of uniqueness when they come to Oaks and Derby? Um, fascinators have picked up a lot over the years mm -hmm. with Meghan Markle, Kate Middleton, that came over here to mm -hmm. the United States, and then Hatinators. Um, those are great. They'll give you the illusion of a big hat, but the comfort of a fascinator. Huh. So those yeah. are awesome. But that's all, and then what about color? I feel like yeah. it's so vibrant this year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lots of brights. I've also seen a lot of pastels too, though. A lot of like the floral, floral pastels. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, there's like this neon chartreuse color that we've seen an awful lot it's of. Kind of like a little hair. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. like a door, right? Of and, course. And then there's like the graphic design. Like you mm -hmm. guys have been doing this. Um, what makes this so different? What makes this so awesome? It's one of a kind. Mm -hmm. It is. So we partner with one of our friends that we actually went to high school with. Um, his art name is Resco, and he does a lot of murals around town, um, fine artist, tattoo artist. Um, and so he spray paints those for us, and every single one is one of a kind, and they're just all so cool. We get really excited when he's <laughs> dropping some off to us. But, okay, which high school since, you know, where you went? Manual. 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 Which high school did you go to? All right, well, thanks Thank so much. You. And by the way, when you are watching our coverage, Quite a few of us are going to be in some of the yeah. new designs. Yes, yes, we're very excited. So, yes. The well, Hack Girls uh, and Resco. <laughs> and Resco, and too. Resco as well. Okay, where are we going next? I we're, forget. We are going to break. <laughs> okay, <laughs> break. I forget sometimes. That's I need okay. another cup of coffee. We do, too. Uh, well, thanks, for, thanks for getting up Thank early and coming on with us. And great job and continued success. Thank you. And we'll be right back right here on Wave News Sunrise at the Downs. <laughs> Your 10-day earliest alert forecast on WAVE is sponsored by Services Roofing, Gutters, and Siding. Nobody investigates like the WAVE troubleshooters. See what we uncover next. The troubleshooters investigate on WAVE. If you've been thinking of getting a new fence for your home, it's time to fence it now. For over 30 years, they've been fencing Kentucky the right way. They install the best and fix the rest. For a limited time, take $500 off your new fence. Stop waiting. Call Fence It Now. When people think of our area, thoroughbreds come to mind, and bourbon. Our roots are deep here, 
And we're proud of our old Kentucky home, of the folks who live here, and the vehicles we built here. You see, we're more than just bluegrass country. We're also blue oval country. Proud partner of the 149th running of the Kentucky Derby. Check out the all-new Kentucky Anna Gun Store. KGS has one of the largest selections of firearms, ammo, and accessories in the area. Let our friendly and knowledgeable staff show you hard to find and exclusive firearms. Kentucky Anna Gun Store, 5508 Highway 62 in Jeffersonville. You work hard to create a life that's honorable, one that provides for your family, and one you can be proud of. First Savings Bank shares your passion for success, for grit, for perseverance, even when times are tough. We know because we've been there. Our people make up the very fabric of your community. While other banks may charge fees and treat you like a number, First Savings Bank pays you with free accounts, a 4% APY, and cash rewards. Switch to First Savings Bank today. We're your always first. Are allergies raining on your parade? At Family Allergy and Asthma, our board-certified allergists create personalized treatment plans that clear up your symptoms and help you march on with a smile. Choose Family Allergy and Asthma and choose Relief. When it's time to replace your heating and air system, we know people want options. That's why you'll always get a free second opinion with BJ Heating and Cooling. Plus, for a limited time, get 0% financing for 60 months on a new Bryant system. Call the experts you can trust at BJ Heating and Cooling. Enjoying the sunshine and fresh air can be hard for many of us. Advanced ENT and Allergy is the regional leader in upper airway care. From allergies, sinus problems, sleep apnea, hearing health, and more, our medical team treats everyone like family. Advanced ENT and Allergy offers same-day appointments, and for many, no referral is needed. Our outstanding team of physicians, along with state-of-the-art technology, can get you breathing right, sleeping well, and feeling better sooner. Go to advancedentandallergy.com for your appointment. Eight locations. Let Care Heating and Cooling care about your comfort all season long. Enjoy a true buy one, get one, and a lifetime equipment warranty when you buy any new AC and get an energy-efficient furnace free. Care Heating and Cooling. We care about your comfort. If you're hurt, give me a call. It's free, and we believe we can help. Watch Myra, John, and Kevin. Weeknights at 5 and 6 p.m. on Wave. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Sunrise at the Downs. You've seen a couple of Oaks and Derby contenders really coming out so far this morning. A few of Brad Cox's horses have been out. So we're keeping an eye on the track, and we're keeping an eye on what's going to be happening, of course, throughout the week. With me, I have LMPD Chief Quinn Bilorel. I want to make sure I say it correctly. Um, as we gear up for Derby, of course, everybody's main concern is, of course, security, and you have a 3 p.m. briefing for everyone later on today. Yes, that's correct. And so at 3 p.m., we'll just go over um, just a few, <laughs> sorry, no, just, a, just a few details mm -hmm. as to what's going to happen today, and um, give a additional mm -hmm. uh, actually encouragement for the community mm -hmm. to truly, um, if you see something out of the ordinary, yeah. just make sure you call LMPD mm -hmm. and so that we actually can actually do an investigation on that mm -hmm. situation because we want to keep everybody safe and the community is truly important in helping us do that. Yes, and of course, with moving forward, um, what do you think makes this derby? Because this is your third derby. Mm -hmm. So what makes this derby a little bit different from the ones that we've had before? Well, again, we're just doing everything uh, we possibly can to look at our security plan, mm -hmm. what went well before, uh, what are some of the things that we're able to tweak on. And mm -hmm. so any good leader is always going to want to look and see exactly what has happened and how we can do better. So this derby, I'm just looking for us to make sure that we're doing everything possible mm -hmm. that we can to keep this community safe. And, and I'm pretty, um, I feel pretty good about it. And mm -hmm. so I really want the community to really enjoy themselves, mm -hmm. but also so I want my officers to enjoy themselves because this is their derby as well, mm -hmm. even though we're working, but we really want to make sure that everybody has a great time here in Louisville. And it's a full staff too for both Oaks and Derby. You have everybody on deck. It is, but it's just not only LMPD. Mm -hmm. So we have other local partners. We have KSP that's actually going to be helping us mm -hmm. as well. We have the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. Mm -hmm. We also too have our federal partners, mm -hmm. ATF, FBI. They're a part of this and we're coming together collectively because we know how important this uh, Derby is mm -hmm. and we know the world is watching us and the world is going to be here. Mm -hmm. So again, everybody is just geared up to make sure that everybody has a great time. Of course, and we talked work. 
right now, right? So I want to know, what's the most fun thing that you're looking forward to <laughs> once you get closer to Derby? I love, uh, <laughs> the most fun part is watching the hats. Um, yes. The outfits and the hats gives me so much joy. Mm -hmm. um, I, I love to look at the different fashions mm -hmm. and it's like, why do they wear that? Well, I can see why they wear that. Yeah. So again, I enjoy, I like to people watch and mm -hmm. so that's the most enjoyable part of, um, for Derby for me. Mm -hmm. But you know, uh, uh, again, another layer of that is the joy that people yeah. have. Um, the happiness that comes over everybody that comes to Derby. They're so happy to be here um, and to enjoy uh, what is going to happen for two minutes within this race. And um, that right there gives me so much joy. Thank you for being with us, Chief. I You're appreciate so welcome. it. You're so welcome. And uh, it's going to be a long week, but we got this, right? Of course. Um, and we're going to be keeping an eye on everything going on as we get forward throughout the rest of the week as well in terms of safety. You can tune in at 3 p.m. We'll be carrying that press presser live with the chief and with the mayor later on today. Now let's talk about some amazing Derby fans that have been around for a, a little while <laughs> around here in terms of one with his 84th Derby. John Sutton Jr.'s love for horse racing started at about eight years old. He says he remembers listening to the Kentucky Derby on the radio in 1939 and immediately fell in love. Those are all signed as are these. So the next year, he begged his father to take him, but weather made it a little underwhelming. So we got there, but it was cold that day. Oh, my goodness. My mother bundled me all up, and so we got there, and I think we spent most of our time in the men's room because it was so darn cold. Derby, Prince, Belmont. But after watching his dad observe horses in the paddock to bet on, Sutton says he found his niche. I just fell in love with doing that, and uh, like people go to concerts today, they didn't have, there wasn't no such thing as that then to, to any degree. And uh, I just thought that was my cup of tea. And so I look forward to it each year. That love turned into an obsession, which turned into 83 consecutive years of attending the Kentucky Derby. And if you walk around his home, he has the documentation to prove it. This is the first Derby I went to. I saved this. From mint julep cups to lapel pins to tickets and programs dating back to 1906, Sutton Jr. has it all. And unlike most, he has turned horse betting into a science. Needless to say, his best memory was one of his biggest wins. In the year 2000, uh, Fusiachi Pegasus won, and we had that uh, quite a bit of money on it. And we had the winner bet, we had the exacta, we had the trifecta, and the superfecta. A once-in-a-lifetime bet for a man who says he experienced once-in-a-lifetime luck. Injuries, military service, and illnesses almost put an end to his streak, but he was motivated to do what he loved. It was not, nothing going to deter me from going to the Kentucky Derby. I thought that was the end all. Wave News is sponsored by Window World. Corrigan Electric can help make sure your family is prepared when there are power outages and severe weather hits. Call Corrigan Electric today and ask about our Briggs and Stratton generator systems. You know us at Corrigan, give us a call. This commercial is 15 seconds long. That's less time than it takes for a strong gust of wind, a falling tree branch in a storm, or a large chunk of hail to damage your roof. When weather hurts your home, call the company that sees service differently. Services, roofing, gutters, and siding. when you play Kentucky Five, the new daily draw game available only in Kentucky with a rolling jackpot you win if your five numbers match the five numbers drawn. Give me five, Kentucky. Funding more than $4.4 billion in grants and scholarships. After my wreck, I was hurt. I couldn't work. I take one step forward and two steps back. So I call the hammer. I'm attorney Darrell Isaacs, the hammer. We've seen this game a thousand times. We'll take on the big insurance companies and we'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve for your medical bills, lost wages, and pain and suffering. The hammer won the game and got me $440,000.
$1,000. One call, that's all. Call 877-ALL-7s. Visit the James B. Bean Distilling Company May 4th through 6th for a weekend full of special tasting experiences, live music, food, and cocktails. Join master distillers Fred and Freddie No celebrating horse racing in Kentucky. Go to beamdistilling.com for tickets. Remember, you should always get more than one estimate for your home improvement projects. That's why at Vessels Plumbing, we offer a free second opinion. Having us out for a fast free estimate can save you big money. Don't pay more for the same thing. Call Vessels Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling today. They tried to intimidate me and my family. I stood strong then, and I won't back down now. That's why over 100 law enforcement leaders have endorsed my campaign, and I'm President Trump's candidate, too. I support tough prosecution, tough sentencing, and tough enforcement. Kentucky law enforcement knows I have their back, and they have mine. I'm Daniel Cameron. We need a governor who backs the blue, and that's exactly the kind of governor I'll be. Corrigan Electric is the professional Kentuckiana electrical service contractor. If you have an electrical issue, you know us at Corrigan. Give us a call. This is Wave News Sunrise. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Sunrise at the Downs. It is loud, it is early, it is getting very busy here as we are now at 6.30 a.m. on our 5.0 Tuesday. We've seen some Oaks and Derby contenders so far this morning. Of course, the main time frame for a lot of those to be out in traffic will be between 7 and 7.30 this morning. Beautiful such of the day, plenty of sunshine, but hey, you know some clouds are going to come our way at some point, right? Tawana Andrew here with you this morning. Shannon Cogan is roaming around Churchville Downs, and she is going to be with us a little bit later. We're a very special interview, but of course, going to be keeping an eye on everything, not just Derby and Oaks related in terms of the track, but the weather as well. So we have meteorologist Brian Good, who is at the rail this morning, and thank you, Brian, for it not being as cold. I'm going to give you all the credit for this, so don't tell Kevin Harden. <laughs> Thanks. So just remember what's coming our way around Oaks Day, right, with the rain. <laughs> That's in the forecast. Yeah, so hopefully it'll go through smoothly. But yeah, this morning you can see the sunrise about to take shape here in the distance. So it is going to be a beautiful start here to this uh, first 5 old Tuesday. It's going to be a really nice setup. It's been active out here on the track. We'll let you know if any more contenders uh, show up right now. It's relatively quiet at the moment. It's going to be changing here very, very soon. All right, your main headlines here. We're going to be talking about a warming trend that kicks in in phases as we head all the way to Thurby. We've taken the rain chance out for Thurby. However, Oaks Day will feature the main rain chance the way it's looking now and as long as the timing holds out we will dry things out and warm it up rapidly throughout the day on derby that's gonna be key all right 49 chilly outside at the moment with a clear sky but clouds are going to try to sneak back in they're up there into areas of iowa at the moment they'll be dropping down though around lunch into the afternoon temperatures in the upper 50s and lower 60s and it will get windy again for this afternoon, so hang on tight and prepare for that there. All right, so Tawana will be watching the setup here at the track. We'll have much more coming up here at the backside of Churchill in just a few more minutes. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Of course, I mentioned that Shannon Cogan was wandering around Churchill Downs right now, and she is at Todd Fletcher's barn this morning. Shannon, he has amazing contenders this year, so how do you think everything's going to go? Ah, well, I am here with someone who definitely knows. That is Danielle Bricker, the assistant racing manager of Rapoli Stable, the owner of Forte, who is behind us right now. There is Forte. Uh, he just had his head out, but no, he doesn't because he's going to get ready to go out in the track, Danielle. Yep, he's getting ready to go out to the track at 7.30. All derby horses go and train at 7.30. It's just a little bit quieter at the time, so it's just the safest time for them to go out. Gotcha. So how are you feeling about breaking from the 15 hole tomorrow? We're actually, we're very happy with it. Um, you know, he's not too far on the outside. During the Florida Derby, he broke from the 11 post, so that was on the outside. So we know that he's okay and comfortable. Um, he'll be able to get himself into a pretty good stalking position from that hole. Okay, so Forte, the favorite right now, odds three to one. But there are some things that our viewers may not know about Forte, and we have some pictures to show you, including Forte's baby picture. Tell us, he had floppy ears. He had floppy ears. Years. That picture went viral. Everyone <laughs> loved the floppy ears. Um, not sure, you know, why he was born that way. It just kind of like happened. Um, he has a 
pretty like goofy personality so the fact that he was born with floppy ears and right now when he goes to the races he kind of bows his neck and prances and um around and if there's puddles he's like a little kid jumping in the puddles so the fact that he was born with floppy ears and now he has this personality it kind of like comes Aww. full circle that you're like you're just a goof but then when you're on the track you're all business so he has fun and then he's professional at the oh, same time i just love it okay so forte is owned by mike rapoli you work for mike uh, with at Ripoli's stable, and he is just an incredible story. Uh, Self-made billionaire, worked for Pirates Booty, and then sold body armor and Glasso. And and there's an interesting story about what what uh, number uh, that uh, we have Forte in right now, number 24 here. Yes, yeah, so uh, Forte's in stall 24. Um, that number is just very um, sentimental to the Rapoli family and to Mike personally. Um, he was best friends with Kobe Bryant. Kobe, when he played, he was number 24. Um, not only was Kobe one of his best friends, but he was also um, a business partner with Body Armor. So the fact that Forte's in 24, Kobe, Kobe and Mike had kind of like the same mindset, you know, work hard, play hard, put in more hours than other people if you really want to be successful, get better every single day, strive for greatness tomorrow. Like, wow. if I was good today, tomorrow I'm going to try to be a little bit better. So the fact that he's in 24, it's kind of just like Kobe's looking out for oh. us, you know, like Kobe's with us um, this derby. So it's just, it's very important. And uh, Mike is very happy that you know, it kind of comes around because, you know, he still holds Kobe so close to him. So the fact that we have 24, it's great. What a great story. Let's talk a little bit about how Forte is doing right here on Churchill Downs on the track. We have some video of Forte breezing earlier. Yes. What do you like what you see? You've been in the horse business for a long time. Yeah, yeah we're very happy um, with his last two breezes. Um, Irad has breezed him both times, came off of him, says he feels great. Um, he's feeling good. He's healthy. Um, Todd is very happy with him, too. His uh, exercise rider, Hector, says he feels great on the track you know he trains perfectly fine every day um, very forward there's spots on the track that he gets like a little excited and will kind of like shoot forward a little bit and it just like adds to his like okay I'm ready like I'm getting pumped up I know like a big race is coming um, so again he keeps everybody on their toes and the personality is great so he feels good he's strong um, he's eating good he's drinking he's like good. he's ready he knows it's almost game time and you've known this horse for a very long time and it's yeah. so funny that you say since Forte started really winning races and performing better on the track that you've noticed a change in his personality yes. huh he's a little cocky sometimes yeah. he's, he's got a little sass to him <laughs> he's got a little sass us, but we like to see it. Um, yeah, there's some days that I can go up and pet on him and he's just right there with me and other days he's like, I'm going to try to bite you and we're going to try to play a game. And I'm like, no, 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 no we're not doing this. I don't want to get bit today, please. Oh my goodness. And we're, you guys have another uh, horse. This is in the Oaks and that's Gambling Girl. And right over there at 21, you can see the saddle towel up right there in the, at that stall. Um, yeah, so we have Gambling Girl in the Oaks, um, so that's very exciting. She's going to be breaking from post position three, um, so she'll be able to save like a lot of ground from there. You know, last year we were very fortunate with having a horse in the Oaks and Derby, and this year we're able to do the same. Gambling Girl is also a New York bred, um, so you don't really see that very often. So we're very excited for both days. All right. Well, Danielle, thank you so much. Best of luck to you, Gambling Girl, Forte, Rapoli family, and Todd Pletcher. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> Back to you, Tawana. <laughs> Thanks, Shannon. Of course, my stomach, of course, is er it's grumbling already early this morning. So let's go over to Olivia at Wagner's this morning. I want to see what other amazing food. Ooh, I can hear the sizzling in the background, Olivia. <laughs> I'm right. Pam is over here on the grill this morning, and she is making sure her crew is fed because in just a few minutes, she's telling me there's going to be a line out front because you won't open at 7, but what's it usually like before the doors even open? Uh, it's a little hard to get us ready. <laughs> and then they're standing there looking at you, and we're like, I swear, one minute, one minute, you know, and then we'll let them in, and then they just they just come in and fill the whole building up in a matter of five minutes. Five minutes. You tell me a lot of people who are over at Donut Downs, right? Yes, yes. They either hit us after they get done over there, or they hit us before they go over there. Okay, so when people come in here, you said you have something new on the Derby Week menu. Yes. 
We have, we just added it, it's called a hangover. My sister and Jennifer, the general manager here, she, she they made it. Tammy's my sister. And um, it's a, a biscuit and gravy with gravy on it. And then you get a country fried steak on top of it with more gravy. And then you get scrambled eggs on top of that with a side of uh, potatoes. Okay, so people, you know, who might have a hangover. Or wants everything put together. I think I think they might like it. Yep. They yep, might yep. like it. We sell a lot of them. Okay, so you say you're going to be slammed this week. What should people expect when they come here? Uh, just be patient with us, and mm -hmm. I promise you we'll take care of you and give you the best service. That's all I ask. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. We're going to let you get back to that grill. She was okay. telling people earlier, don't you touch my grill. She is taking care of it over there. <laughs> yeah. And she even made me breakfast. So thank you so much for breakfast. Get and Shannon and Tawana, got to come around the corner, get a bite of this. Oh, see? Oh, my gosh, that egg sandwich. Okay. I know what I'm having for breakfast. Uh, me too. That's like, looks good. <laughs> We have Matt Gibson, President and CEO of KDF, and we were talking about Wagner's. And we you were. Said, I talk, I think about breakfast, but you said the chili's. Really oh my good. gosh, the chili and grilled cheese. I mean, we were watching her eat that uh, egg sandwich. Oh my goodness. So I know what we're going for breakfast. <laughs> it looks so good. Um, and then you have something food related we do. that's coming up later on tonight the chicken salad chick wine fest. That's I right. I have to read that because that name is amazing. It I did is. not want to get it wrong. It is. Yeah, it's a phenomenal event. Uh, this year it's at Melwood. It's weatherproof, which is yes. great, uh, but it looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day. And we've had really good weather with the exception of, of uh, Sunday's mm -hmm. parade. The yeah. people at the first half of the parade had a different experience than those at the second, second half, second half because that 20 it. degree drop, exactly, I saw y'all <laughs> go by in the in the Bronco yeah. and you were offering everybody your hand warmer, which was so, so generous of you. But boy, that temperature changed, didn't it? It yeah. really did with that wind, but it does look like we're having good, great weather does, for this and for tomorrow oh, it is. as it's well. going to be gorgeous you know for the uh, uh shepherd insurance great steamboat race we'll see tens of thousands of folks out there to watch that what we call the slowest two minutes in sports but people will come out because of you know those traditional events that we have um you know the great balloon glow was mm -hmm. phenomenal uh the mini marathon weather was perfect mm -hmm. for running you know it was questionable at thunder as you know working mm -hmm. it all day yeah. like you did that it was going to be uh, uh, a certain kind of weather and then it turned out to be a gorgeous day and mm -hmm. i think it's what this community has needed and they've certainly shown out mm -hmm. uh, and shown up and we it looks like by the end of it this season we will have uh, accommodated about 1.4 million folks uh, who came out to the events mm -hmm. and we're almost to to the uh, uh, end this year mm -hmm. um, and it has been phenomenal how do you feel about it being close to the end now I get a little melancholy we've been keeping this pace for months now mm -hmm. and people ask when you sleep we say in May uh, <laughs> but we love it I've been doing this for 26 years I thought mm -hmm. it would do it a couple years mm -hmm. and it just gets in your blood yeah. uh, it's it's the same way with a majority of the staff and the board and the volunteers Years mm -hmm. who come out and help us, but it is a springtime tradition. Just like you see these flowers start to bloom, mm -hmm. when these jackets come out and you start to see the Pegasus out there, mm -hmm. you know it's time and spring's on its way. Oh, I love it. I love it. And we're looking forward to everything happening tonight and tomorrow and for the rest of the week yes. as well. Thank you for being with us, Thank Matt. you so much. And we're going to have much more of Sunrise at the Downs after the break. Here's a look at the current Kentucky Lottery jackpots. The Kentucky Lottery, over $4.4 billion in grants and scholarships. Start your evening with what's happening now, exclusive investigations, and the most accurate forecasts. Watch Myra, John, and Kevin, weeknights at 5 and 6 p.m. on Wave. If you have a leak and need a new roof, Honest Aid Roofing's got you and your family covered. All of our roofs come with financing and lifetime guarantees. So whether it's metal or slate, your new roof will be great. Call Honest Aid Roofing, America's reliable roofer. They remind us of the wonder of living and the power of quiet moments that put life into focus. The mountains are calling. Plan your next memory at Gatlinburg.com. When life happens, you call on family to support you. So when your home needs plumbing, heating, cooling, or electrical repairs, call the professionals at Mazer Master Services for whole home comfort and peace of mind. 
Our certified five-star technicians treat you like family and respect your home. We are committed to your home comfort, day or night. Right now, keep healthy and stay comfortable with $75 off any HVAC repair. Plumbing, heating, air, and electrical. Mazer. Make the call. Mazer.com. Tease Trees is Louisville's trusted choice for tree trimming, removal, and land clearing. We go to great heights for your satisfaction with 24-hour emergency service. Get your trees trimmed now. Tease Trees. We trim trees and prices. Home after home, room after room, thousands of families have trusted Zero Res to achieve an insanely clean and healthy home like only the experts at Zero Res can provide. Zero Res uses patented electrolyzed water that's scientifically proven to clean better than other methods. And with no soaps or residue, it's the safe choice for your family that leaves carpets cleaner longer. For a limited time, enjoy this special offer. Schedule today at ZeroResLouisville.com. Zero Res, it's the right way to clean. Car wreck? Get Hughes and Coleman and get it done. After a car wreck, what does it mean when we say, get Hughes and Coleman and get it done? It means making the insurance company do what's right. It means getting a powerful law firm on your side, one with a proven record of success. And it means the peace of mind of never paying us a fee unless we get money for you. So if you've been injured, get Hughes and Coleman and get it done. Call 800-800-4600. Good morning, 645. We're on the backside with our friend Donna Brothers, who, of course, you'll see on NBC's coverage of the Oaks and Derby interviewing the winning jockey right after the race. It's yes. the most fun job in television. <laughs> I'm sorry. You really do have the most fun. Well, you, she's a former jockey. Yes. So you know how to ride on these incredible horses. Yeah. yeah. So as a, as a jockey, how do they prepare for these big races like this? Well, a lot of the preparation is mental at this point, right? Because mm -hmm. physically they're already fit. They already know how to ride races. So a lot of the preparation is just mentally wrapping their head around how the race is going to set up. And they really have to be prepared for a plan A, a plan B, and a plan C. Wow. Right? Like, because at this point we think horses like King's Barnes and a couple of others are going to be in front. Maybe Dermis Sotogake, the Japanese horse from the 17 post position. And so the, in their minds they're like, okay, well, I think these horses will be forwardly placed. But then what if they both break? Break badly, right? And so they've got to be prepared for three or four different scenarios. Incredible. And in, and in terms of the jockeys connecting with those horses, maybe if they've never ridden them before, is there anything special that you, you think that they would have to do to maybe make that connection so they can run the race a little bit better? Well, Jose, Jose Ortiz is a great example because he just picked up the mount on King's Barns out of Todd Pletcher's barn. It's only this horse's fourth start, so he's a young horse. Jose said he'd been on him before he ever started in his first race, but that was a long time ago. So that horse has probably changed a bit matured a little bit so Jose's gone back and watched all of his replays intensively to see you know this horse's habits away from the starting gate going into the first turn the second turn how he finishes through the stretch and my guess is he'll probably get on him at least one time even if it's in a morning gallop before he actually rides him in the race but if he doesn't it'll still be fine because jockeys at that level can get out there in the warm-up and they can learn an awful lot about a horse really quickly. Wow that's amazing because if I get in a car I've never driven before it takes me a good 10 minutes to figure out where everything is. I've seen that over the past two days. Yes. Well, luckily, luckily <laughs> horses you. only have one control and it's right there on right. the reins, yeah. right? Yeah. So right. you don't have to try to figure out where the control is. Right. Like we're in a car, it's like, is it on the column? Is it over here? <laughs> like, right? yeah. So it's just in the same place. Okay, yes. so after the draw yesterday, I know you liked Forte. Still Forte? Well, I like Forte even more now that he's three to one in the morning line. Okay. Like I've always felt like if he was going to be two to one or higher, it would be hard for me to bet against him. Mm -hmm. But I like a couple of other horses too. I mean, two fills ended up being sort of what we call the wise guy horse, yeah. where a lot of people thought he'd be twenty to one, so they liked him. Well, the odds reflect that he's the wise guy horse because he's twelve to one in the morning line odds. But I like him. He's a great story. The connections are so. I mean, I still think it's a pretty wide open race. All right. Thank you, Donna. You're welcome. Good to see you, Shannon. Can't, can't wait to see you on Derby Day. Yes, and the weather is going to be super important to everything moving forward, especially on Oaks Day. So, Brian, what does that look like? Yeah, that's the issue. Oaks Day, rain chances there. On this travel Tuesday, it's all about the chilly air this morning. But what about this afternoon? What about the rain chance on Oaks? And, of course, the latest on Derby coming up in just 30 seconds. Good morning, everyone. Would anyone like to share? Doc, I'm not doing too good. They said it'd take two months to do my kitchen. It's been six. My contractor gave me a price and raised it $10,000 after my kitchen is completely torn apart. Guys! I 
called Connors for my kitchen remodel, and not only was the selection process super simple, but the experience was great from start to finish. Where's everybody going? We're going to Connors. Your kitchen done right. Come to Connors. And good morning. <laughs> I was just looking around the crowd. Everyone's out here. It's like people watching and horse watching at the same time. Always exciting here at the backside of Churchill Downs. Hey, I'll tell you what, this morning it's all been about the chilly air, but the beautiful sunrise is just minutes away from taking place. Hopefully we'll have a chance to show you that coming up, especially during the seven o'clock hour. Current temperature in Louisville, 49 degrees. Wind chills running to the upper 30s in many spots this morning. Yeah, no, it doesn't feel the warmest, but when the sun's out, it's going to make you feel a lot better for sure. And the thing is, we have a clear sky now, but as we look to the northwest, we will see a batch of clouds back into areas of Iowa that are just staring us down at the moment. They will be dropping down to the south and east just as we head toward lunch into the afternoon. I don't see it as an overcast, uh, completely cloudy setup at all areas this afternoon. They can just be more of a partly to mostly cloudy scenario. But when that happens, I do think the wind is going to ramp back up again this afternoon. Here's future cast shows how that trend with the clouds dropped in from the north. Perfect timing, of course, midday, right when we're trying to warm up. So highs today will struggle a bit in areas that see more clouds and sun upper 50s versus say some areas into the lower 60s and then tonight partly cloudy the wind should stay up enough to tonight i think we'll have to worry about frost otherwise it would be a bigger concern here's the rest of the outlook high about 59 to 62 and again the wind gust west northwest about 25 to 30. now we're looking good tomorrow as well for champions day and for the great steamboat race we get into thurby temperatures have gone up a little lower 70s and we've taken the rain chance out for Thurby. That's good. Oaks Day, it's a light rain chance and in, we still are expecting thunderstorms in central and southern Kentucky Oaks Day, but right now I have not seen any movement to get the thunderstorms in our area. They should stay south of Louisville, which means more of a lighter rain for us, something we'll be watching, but it does look like it will be uh, near the run for the lilies when that takes place. And then the rain will still be around at least near sunrise on Derby Day, but will be on its way out of town. And then it's a matter of how quickly do we get into a partly sunny sky to get some sunshine. The faster it happens, the warmer we can get. It's as simple as that. Right now we're thinking 70s are easily reachable, but could we get close to 80 on Derby Day? It's possible. Then after that, Temperatures, of course, stay in the 80s, which makes a lot of sense. All right, for the outlook on the rain chance, you see that rain chance on Oaks Day right now, 40% in the afternoon and the evening. We'll fine tune that certainly as we hit the next couple of days. And you see on the extended temperatures into the lower 80s with a daily rain chance. Tawana and Shannon. Thank you so much. Yeah. So a lot of people getting ready to come into Churchill Downs for Dawn at the Downs. And the Josh and Kathleen Yankees are checking out what, what the view is at the paddock gates right now. So what are you seeing? How many people are getting ready to come in? <laughs> I mean, at least 100 people are behind us. Gosh, I looked now again five <laughs> seconds later right. and maybe up to 200 people lining up here 10 minutes before the gates even open. Yeah, this has been kind of fun to watch. Uh, we were out here maybe about 20 minutes ago, just a handful of folks. But yeah. you can see people keep piling in. And we got folks of all ages coming to check out these horses and see them race or run for free. And so Don at the Downs for free. But then you got to think so many of these folks, hopefully you're going to stick around for 5.0 Tuesday, only $5 <laughs> to see true horse race racing this morning so you get the workouts you get the racing you could spend a full day at Churchill Downs and maybe that's the plan of some of these folks right here and it really is a beautiful day I mean compared to yesterday not a cloud in the mm -hmm. sky right here so uh, I wonder if there are some folks who said <laughs> you know what we're gonna skip right. Monday Dawn at the Downs we're gonna come out for this gorgeous <laughs> 5 Tuesday and see what we can do and I we, we have meteorologist Brian Good to thank for that I think we do and uh, Twan Andrew as well can't forget her <laughs> that's so true all right we'll be right back with more sunrise at the Downs after this. No matter how loud the thunder, it's no match for the Wave Storm Tracker. As it heads into the storm. Sponsored by Oxmoor Ford. Let Care Heating and Cooling care about your comfort all season long. Care for your time by showing up on time when you need us. Care for your peace of mind with a free second opinion. Care for your pocketbook by working to repair before recommending a replacement. And if replacement is necessary, we'll take care of that too. Enjoy a true buy one, get one, and a lifetime equipment warranty when you buy any new AC and get an energy-efficient furnace free. Care Heating and Cooling. We care about your comfort. Get 
every time with Kentucky 5, the new daily draw game where you match five numbers to win. Kentucky 5, your five numbers could be the one. The greatest American rock and roll band in history, Aerosmith, presents Peace Out, the farewell tour. Aerosmith, with special guest, the Black Crows. Candlecalls, the mama, I'm show all the heavy. KFC Yum Center, January 7th. Get tickets this Friday at 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster.com. Aerosmith with the Black Crows, the farewell tour. Peace out. Is this your house cleaner? At Made Pro, your home will receive an exceptional cleaning from our highly skilled, trained, and well paid pros. And likely just a fraction more than you're already paying. I've been really impressed with the workers at Made Pro. They pay so much attention to detail. They are just professionals. You spent a lot of your time affording your home. Let us come and help you maintain it just so you can enjoy your home. That's what we're all about. Call Made Pro today. For your free estimate. I'm Steve with SNS Concrete, and we know not all jobs are the same. With four generations of experience, we can handle almost any concrete project. We are proud to be the gold standard in the area. Call SNS Concrete now for $1,000 off, and financing is available. Call SNS Concrete today. There's a clear choice in the race for governor. My opponents, career politicians who'd rather follow than lead. Kentucky has big challenges to tackle, and it's going to take a leader to solve them. I've spent my career doing just that. A proven leader who negotiated trade deals that created Kentucky jobs. A conservative that stood up to the Chinese Communist Party and an outsider not owned by the establishment. Kentucky needs proven leadership, not more politicians. Can't you tell it is Derby week here at Churchill Downs. So the many energy, people, lots yeah. of excitement, and everyone's looking at all the horses. Yeah, we just saw yeah. all of the Japanese horses just slowly walk by. So we're getting ready to, you know, see more of those Derby contenders come on in. Yeah, 7.30 is that time, 7.30 to 7.45. And Brian, for people heading out here for 5.02 Tuesday. It's chilly, but you see it behind us. The sunrise is coming up. It's going to be a beautiful setup this morning. Yeah. Terrific. Well, have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Get live streaming news, 24-hour weather, investigations, podcasts, and more. All for